Suppose we have three glasses and 10 coins. The problem is to place odd number of coins in each glass. That is each glass should contain coins and the number of coins in each glass must be odd and total coins which will be used must be equal to 10. Let me repeat the puzzle. Suppose we have three glasses and 10 coins. The problem is to place odd number of coins in each glass. That is each glass should contain coins and the number of coins in each glass must be odd and total coins which will be used must be equal to 10. Feel free to pause the video and try yourself before checking the solution. This is one of the fantastic puzzle asked in the job interviews. Let's check the solution now. See, it is not possible to use all 10 coins with each glass having odd number of coins. This is because if you add odd number of coins odd number of times, then the result is always odd but not even. But here there are 10 coins which is even, that is the challenge here. There are even number of coins but number of glasses are odd. Therefore we must think out of the box. Let's solve now logically. So in the first step, in the first glass place 5 coins which is odd. After that in the second step, in second glass place 2 coins and in the third step in third glass place 3 coins which is odd. Here the first glass contains 5 coins which is odd, second glass contains 2 coins which is even and the third glass contains 3 coins which is odd. Now is the important step. After third step glass 1 has 5 coins, glass 2 has 2 coins and glass 3 has 3 coins. Now place the entire third glass inside second glass. By doing this we are making sure that the second glass has 5 coins. Hence indirectly now second glass contains 5 coins which is odd in nature. Having an infinite supply of water and two containers, one for 3 litres and one for 5 litres, how would you measure 4 litres? Feel free to pause the video and give a try before checking the solution. Once done, keep watching the video for the right approach. You have to follow these steps to solve this puzzle. In the first step, fill 3 liters bucket completely. In the second step, pour that water into 5 liters bucket. In the step 3, now 5 liters bucket filled with 3 liters of water where there is space for 2 more liters. Now in the step 4, now again fill 3 liters bucket and pour it into 5 liters bucket. If bucket was full, that means remaining water in 3 liters bucket is 1 liter. In the step 5, pour that 5 liters of water down and fill it with 1 liter of water which was remained in the 3 liters bucket. In the next step, again fill 3 liters bucket and pour in into 5 liters bucket. Now the result will be 4 liters of water in 5 liters bucket. This is how we can achieve the solution to this particular puzzle. But there is an easy solution with less steps. Let me explain the way to solve these bucket questions. You can get 4 liters by pouring 1 liter out of the 5 liter bucket. If you figure out a way to do that, you have it solved. You need a 1 liter space to pour the 1 liter into. You would have to leave 2 liters in the 3 liter bucket. So if you figure out a way to do that, you have the problem solved. To do that, you need to get 2 liters into the 5 liter bucket. So you can then put the 2 into the 3 litre bucket. Here how we can achieve this. Fill the 5 litre bucket and pour 3 of it into the 3 litre bucket. Then empty the 3 litre bucket. This will leave you with 2 litres in the 5 litre bucket. Dump the 2 litres into the 3 litre bucket. Fill up the 5 litre bucket and pour 1 into the space in the 3 litre bucket. So now you have 4 left in the 5 litre bucket. So this is an interesting uh, logical puzzle asked by several companies. 
the expectation is the approach that you are going to follow in order to achieve the solution. In the first approach, whichever I have explained, has more steps compared to the second approach. It would be good to know both the approaches. There are eight pills. They are all of the same size and color. One pill weighs slightly more and is poisonous. You have a balanced scale and can only use it twice. Or can you find the poisonous pill? Let me explain the solution now. First of all, split the pills into the following groups. So group 1 must contain pill number 1, 2, 3, group 2 must contain 4, 5, 6 and group 3 must contain 7 and 8. For your first weighing, put 3 pills on one side, 3 on the other, leaving 2 set aside. If one side is heavier, the poisonous pill is in that group but if they are the same, it is in the 2 set aside. If the weigh balances, then group 3 contains the poisonous pill. If they are different, the heavier group contains the poisonous pill. For the second weighing, pick the group the poison pill is in. Put one pill on each side and one off to the side unless it was in the group of two from before, in which case don't set any aside. If the scale says a side is heavier, that's the side that's got the poison. If you picked a three pill group and the scales are the same, then the one you didn't weigh out of that group is the poison. So to simplify, if the poison pill in group 3 balance 7 against 8, the heavier one is the poisonous pill. If the poison pill in group 2 balance one of the pills against another in the same group, if they are the same, then the poisonous pill is the one not weighed. If they are different, the heavier one is the poisonous pill. Only two balances are required to find the poisonous pill. You have three jars that are all mislabeled. One jar contains candies, another contains sweets and the third jar contains a mixture of both candies and sweets mixed in random proportions. You can put your hand in a jar and pick only one eatable at a time. Tell the minimum number of eatables that have to be picked in order to label the jars correctly. Assume that the shape of the candies and sweets are identical and there is no way to differentiate them by touching alone. This is a tricky puzzle. Pause the video and try yourself before checking the solution. Let me explain the solution now. When I first saw this puzzle, I have spent more time to find the solution. Even though puzzle looks very simple once you know the solution, but it's really confusing puzzle. Logic lies in first selecting the correct jar in finding the solution. Let me explain the solution step by step. In step 1, you have to pick only one eatable from jar C. Suppose the eatable is a candy, then the jar C contains candies only because all the jars were mislabeled. So remember, this jar cannot contain sweets because it is mislabeled. The only choice on this jar is candies. Most importantly, this is enough to label other two jars correctly. Let me explain how. Now, uh, since the jar C has candies only, jar B can contain sweets or mixture. But jar B can contain only the mixture because its label reads sweets which is wrong. Therefore, jar A must contain sweets. Thus the correct labels are jar A contains sweets, jar B contains candies and sweets, jar C contains candies. Thus answer is just one pick of an eatable is required to correctly label the jars. There are many variations to this puzzle but logic remains same. Let me share one more variation. 
This problem is also called jelly beans problem. This is also commonly asked interview puzzle. You have three jars that are all mislabeled. One jar contains apple, another contains oranges and the third jar contains a mixture of both apple and oranges. You are allowed to pick as many fruits as you want from each jar to fix the labels on the jars. What is the minimum number of fruits that you have to pick and from which jars to correctly label them? This puzzle also requires the similar logic which I have explained earlier. So let me explain the solution. Let's take a scenario. Suppose you pick from jar labeled as apple and oranges. You got apple from it. That means that jar should be apple as it is incorrectly labeled. So it has to be apple jar. Now the jar labeled oranges has to be mixed as it cannot be the oranges jar as they are wrongly labeled and the jar labeled apple has to be oranges. Similar scenario applies if it's a oranges taken out from the jar labeled as apple and oranges. So you need to pick just one fruit from the jar labeled as apple and oranges to correctly label the jars. Thus the answer is just one pick of a fruit is required to correctly label the jars. In this visual brain teaser, you can see three glasses on the left that are full and three on the right that are empty. You can only move one glass to make a row of alternately full and empty glasses. Which one do you move? This is an interesting brain teaser, requires out of box thinking. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try before checking the solution. Let me explain the solution now. For convenience sake, let's name the glasses A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F are six glasses. A, B, C are full and D, E, F are empty. They are placed in a row. The important point here is in the brain teaser, it is mentioned that you can only move one glass. But there are no rules mentioned on the restrictions on operations that can be performed on that glass. So what we can do is we have to move the full glass B and to pour total juice or water of it from glass B to the glass E. Then put the empty glass B in its own position. After performing this activity, B glass is empty and E glass is full. Now the row will be like this. A is full, B is empty, C is full, D is empty, E is full, F is empty. Thus, by moving only one glass, we can make a row of alternately full and empty glasses.